What's going on guys and welcome back to Baker's DIY Lifestyle. So today is a super exciting day for me because I've been waiting for this since we moved into this house and it is the day that we're going to go ahead and spray the entire yard, kill it off and get it ready for our reseed coming up here in the next couple weeks as soon as the temperatures start dropping down a little bit. But the other thing that I've noticed in the yard is we do have a lot of bugs starting to come back and depending on when I upload this you may or may not have seen uh, my professional bug killer video where we went through the whole yard and across the house and sprayed everything and got rid of all the bugs that we could. But this house has probably never been treated. And that's very evident in the amount of ant hills that we have out in the yard now and how many little ants are starting to crawl across the sidewalks and spiders getting up at the house again. So what I'm actually gonna do today while I'm killing the yard is actually add some bifenthrin to it and show you guys how to kill bugs while you're killing your grass or spraying something else in your yard at the same time. So the products I'm gonna be using today, I've got this Shakedown. It's a liquid anti-foam product that I picked up from Southern States by my house. So this stuff is awesome. You can put it right in the tank as you're filling it up and you don't get all the foam that comes from when you're mixing glyphosate and other products in the tank. So I really love this stuff. Um, I'm gonna be using Cornerstone Plus, which is just a generic brand of glyphosate. Uh, this particular jug is 41% glyphosate, so it's really heavy on it. We'll go ahead and mix that up as well. And then of course I've got my Tau Star P uh, and that is our bifenthrin product. So that's what we're gonna use for all the bugs and we're gonna add that in as well. Now the bifenthrin, uh, we're at 7.9% on this one and for control of ants in the yard, the maximum rate is one ounce per thousand. So we're gonna go ahead and go maximum rate on this as well. That way we know we have good control over the yard and that'll hopefully get us into winter time when we don't have to worry about the bugs as much. So here at the new house, since I've measured the yard, we are sitting at about 9,000 square feet in the front yard and almost 13,000 square feet in the backyard. I two tanks here, one both up to four gallons a piece. I'm gonna start in the backyard and since I'm at 13,000 square feet, I'm gonna go just a little over one ounce per gallon with the bifenthrin just to make sure that I can get the whole yard done in just three tanks because that would put me at 12 gallons, which would be right at 12,000 square feet. But if I add just a little bit more product, uh, that'll get us right to 13 and I think I'll be able to get the whole yard done in three tanks. But other than that, there's nothing real exciting to be done. It's super easy. We'll just go down, just go back and forth across the yard, make sure we get good coverage and then we'll wait a week and we should be able to see if we hit everything in the yard or not. And if there's spots you missed, you can go back next week. Just give it another once over, hit all the stuff that maybe is growing back up or a streak that you may miss as you're going down through this. The only other product you could get is a turf dye but I don't necessarily like using that stuff just because it's so messy and it gets everywhere. And generally you can tell where you spray just by how wet the ground is. So that's kind of what I'm going with and we'll just see how we do. So with that, we'll get these tanks mixed up and we'll get to spraying.
All right, guys, so I'm going to jump in right here and talk about what you're going to see in the next clip. So, of course, I got my little helper out here, and it's been a couple months since we went ahead and filmed this part that you're about to see. Uh, but I wanted to go ahead and talk about what to do about a week after you spray the yard. And the best way to go ahead and jump on top of any of the grass that you may have missed. So, the next clip, you're going to see a couple strips that I went down through. And I definitely completely missed. And as the rest of the yard is turning brown, you'll notice that there are two bright green strips in there. So those are strips that you want to go ahead and take care of. That way, whenever you go across the yard for the second time, you know you have complete full coverage over every single part of the dirt. So I'm going to spin around and give you guys a little preview of what the backyard's looking like. So we've got some good growth coming in, but you can definitely see, hopefully you can see right above my head there, uh, we've got some brown spots. So I'm not exactly sure what happened. It's probably because when the, when the rain came, this top section right here, of course, all the water ran off of it and the water kind of settled down there in the back. But the back of the yard is looking really green. The Kentucky bluegrass is coming in good. And so far, I haven't seen any more little Bermuda sprouts coming out. One thing that you are definitely going to have to do whenever you're spraying a Bermuda yard is go ahead and do two blanket sprays. So one of the things I noticed after I got done spraying my spots, I still had some green coming back out from the ground after I sprayed. Bermuda is just one of those resilient grass types that it definitely takes more than one spray in order to get everything killed. So that's something if you're ever thinking about killing off Bermuda and starting over with a cool season lawn, go ahead and prepare yourself to spray twice. Now I didn't film uh, spraying it again because it's basically the same exact thing I did. Uh, the only thing I did differently was instead of going side to side this way, I switched it so that I went perpendicular. That way if there was something I didn't hit, I would hopefully get it on the second pass, but also hit the grass blades from a different direction. So we did get some really good kill off after that. Uh, I haven't seen any more Bermuda come back up, but one thing I am starting to see is some little weeds. So I did think about putting some tenacity down just to help out with that. Uh, I didn't really have a lot of time because I got started so late, and that is part of the problem uh, with why the grass seed isn't coming up right now. Currently our temperatures are dropping down. We're getting close to the 40s at night, but it's been getting really cold and it hasn't rained uh, since I threw the seed down. I got lucky uh, the week that I chose to throw the seed and it rained every single day, which is how I got the quick green up and the quick sprouts coming out. But since then, I've had the sprinklers going every single day. But my current game plan is to go ahead, wait for another rainy day, and I'm gonna go ahead and throw another application of fertilizer just so that I can shock some growth into this new grass. It came up really quick, and I've heard some people say Kentucky bluegrass is the sprout and pout. So it sprouted and we're definitely pouting because we are not getting any more height. The fescue in the front though is starting to get a little bit taller and I can definitely tell that it is starting to take off. But whenever I do see that rain in the forecast, I'm gonna come back through these bare spots right here, throw more seed down, get the fertilizer in, let it water itself in and hopefully I'll get some quick growth right here and I can push it really hard uh, through the end of the year so that the winter doesn't take hold of it. But other than that, that's all I have for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section because I will answer all of those as soon as I can. Be sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button so you don't miss any of this as we are watching the rest of it green up. But with that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.